and welcome to the hybrid public hearing for the resurfacing and access management project on US 301 slash US 441 from Northwest 20th Street to the US 301 slash US 441 interchange in Ocala, Marion County. We appreciate you taking the time to learn about the project and provide feedback to us. My name is Catalina Chacon, and I am a consultant project manager supervisor with FDOT. Megan Owens, the FDOT project manager, is currently attending to a family emergency and is unable to attend. This public hearing is for the financial project identification number 441-136-1. With me tonight is Kevin Tassillo, the consultant project manager, as well as other FDOT and consultant staff. At this time, we would like to thank any of our federal, state, county, or city officials that may be attending tonight. This meeting is being recorded and will be available to watch on demand on the project webpage at CFL Roads, I'm sorry, at www.cflroads.com by February 1st, 2021. We have made a PDF of the presentation and project exhibits available for download on the project's website. For those attending virtually, you can find these files under the handouts on the menu to the right of your screen. You may find comment forms and speaker request cards at the sign-in table for those of you attending in person. If you're attending online and wish to make a verbal comment, please request to speak by typing in your name and I wish to speak in the question box. Please note that all virtual attendees will remain in listen-only mode throughout the presentation. Should you have any comments, we ask that you type them into the question box that appears on the right side of your screen. We will also outline other opportunities for input during the presentation. If you are listening to this webinar by phone and do not have access to a computer, we ask you that you please contact us by telephone or email. We will provide the contact information later in the webinar. We will now begin the presentation and following, we will open the floor for public comment. All right, thank you very much, Catalina. Uh, my name is Eric Troll. I'm a communications consultant with the Florida Department of Transportation, and I will be your presenter this evening. Uh, I'd like to thank you again for taking the time to learn more about the US 301, US 441 resurfacing and median modification project uh, from Northwest 20th Street to the US 301, US 441 interchange. This hearing is being conducted in accordance with all applicable uh, federal and state laws. Uh, the hearing is being held to give all interested persons the opportunity to express their views relative to the project. Uh, notice of this project was sent to property owners on July 20th, 2020. Uh, notice of this public hearing uh, was sent on January 11th, 2021. Additionally, uh, advertisements were published in the Ocala Star Banner on January 10th and January 17th of 2021, as well as the Florida Administrative Review on January 20th, 21. Public participation at this meeting is solicited without regard to race, color, uh, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Uh, should you wish to express any concerns regarding uh, FDOT compliance with Title VI, uh, please contact either Jennifer Smith, the District 5 Title VI coordinator, by phone at 386-943-5367, by email at Jennifer dot smith the number two at dot dot state dot fl dot us or by mail address to district five title six coordinator 719 south woodland boulevard mail station 506 the land florida 32720 or jacqueline paramore the state title six coordinator by phone at 850-414 uh, 4753 by email at Jacqueline.Paramore, that's J-A-C-Q-U-E-L-I-N-E dot P-A-R 
A-M-O-R-E at dot.state.fl.us. Uh, or by mail addressed to State Title VI Coordinator, 605 Swanee Street, Mail Station 65, Tallahassee, Florida, 32399. As mentioned, the project location is along US 301, US 441 from Northwest 20th Street uh, to the US 301, US 441 interchange in Ocala, uh, Marion County. While the resurfacing encompasses the entire corridor, uh, the access management or median modifications uh, run north to Northeast 70th Street, uh, Oak Road, State Road 326. The purpose of the project is to enhance safety and increase traffic efficiency in the corridor between Northwest 20th Street uh, and State Road 326, and to extend the life of the existing roadway by repaving from Northwest 20th Street to the US 301, US 441 interchange. So one of the most important responsibilities of the Florida Department of Transportation uh, or FDOT is to ensure the design of each state road properly balances uh, access and mobility. Uh, access management is used to provide this, this very important balance. So a basic principle of access management is to limit the number of conflict points uh, along a roadway by minimizing the number of driveways and median openings. Uh, this does, or we do so by restricting certain movements uh, at some median openings. Uh, so in uh, some cases, conflicts and crashes can be mitigated, uh, I'm sorry, mitigated uh, by closing uh, median openings, resulting in left turns being redirected to an adjacent median opening to complete U-turns. Uh, so what are these conflict points? Uh, essentially, conflict points are uh, locations along a roadway where the pass of two vehicles can legally cross, uh, just not at the same time. Uh, each conflict point is a location where a crash could take place. Uh, so without access management, there are 11 conflict points on a, a standard four-lane road with a, a single intersection road. This is due to a driver's ability to make left and right turns uh, from an intersecting street. By, uh, by implementing access management, uh, limiting those left turns, conflict points are dramatically reduced uh, from 11 to six, uh, making the intersections and roadways safer for all that utilize it. At one intersection on the corridor, uh, North Pine Avenue, uh, US 441 at Northwest 22nd Street, there are several potential conflict points uh, with the existing uh, open median configuration. Uh, when you can take into consideration uh, vehicular movements within the median, uh, those entering the median, and those driving through the median, the number of conflict points uh, are significant. The proposed improvements aim to reduce these conflict points by adding or increasing the length of left turn lanes within the median, converting full median openings to a bi-directional median opening in some locations, uh, which is constructing a physical island that directs vehicular movement uh, and also closing median openings at other locations. Uh, converting these median openings to bi-directional uh, to a bi-directional median will uh, restrict left turns onto US 441 and anyone looking to make a left turn will be directed to make a U-turn uh, at the next closest median opening. These improvements will help reduce the number of conflict points for motorists significantly, uh, which will increase the safety and help uh, enhance traffic flow uh, in the area. Throughout the entire corridor, uh, 11 existing median openings are being modified to a directional configuration, uh, including left turn lanes at most locations. Uh, these changes will take place at Northwest 20th Street, Northwest 22nd Street, Northwest 24th Street, uh, just north of Northwest 35th Street, adjacent to the uh, Living Waters Church, Northwest 42nd Place, Northwest 47th Place, uh, 56th Street, Northwest 58th Lane, adjacent to Ring Power and Northwest 63rd Street. Additionally, two median openings are new. Uh, the first, a bi-directional configuration adjacent to Tex Trailer uh, and a U-turn just south of Northwest 70th Street. 
Two large radius U-turns are also being created on either side of the corridor to accommodate access for, for, oversized, I'm sorry, for oversized vehicles. Uh, these U-turns provide extra pavement within the shoulder to allow the space needed for large trucks and trailers to complete a U-turn. Uh, and they are located just north of 35th Street uh, and as previously mentioned, just south of Northwest 70th Street. With these changes, seven existing median openings will be closed. Uh, in most cases, these closures are to accommodate new or longer left turn lanes for adjacent bi-directional openings. Uh, and these uh, closures are located adjacent to uh, TP Tire, adjacent to Brick City V Twin, at Northwest 48th Street, uh, adjacent to Pro American, adjacent to Young LP Gas, adjacent to uh, Ocala Tractor, and just south of Northwest 70th Street. The project aims to maximize safety on the corridor across the 20 median uh, modifications. On the next few slides, I'll describe what that looks like at each location. Uh, and as a reminder, these uh, documents are available at the back of the room if you're attending in person, uh, in the download section of the GoToWebinar toolbar if you are attending virtually, or on the project's website on www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 441136-1 uh, if you dialed in by phone. So starting on the, uh, the south end of the corridor and moving north, uh, we'll begin at the intersection of Northwest 20th Street. Here, a U-turn lane is being proposed for northbound motorists. Uh, the existing smaller median opening is being closed to accommodate the uh, improvement of the southbound left turn lane. Moving north, the project proposes converting the median opening at Northwest 22nd Street to a bi-directional opening. Uh, a turn lane will be added for northbound motorists. At uh, Northwest 24th Street, the median will also be converted to a bi-directional opening. Uh, and originally, it was just a, a paved opening in the median. Um, but the proposed improvements include uh, new turn lanes for northbound and southbound uh, motorists. Uh, so to accommodate the turn lanes at Northwest 24th Street, the median will be closed adjacent to uh, Brick City V Twin. Just north of 35th Street now, uh, the existing median openings will be modified for U-turns, uh, allowing southbound traffic to return north. Extra space will be provided within the shoulder of the roadway to accommodate uh, vehicles with larger turning radiuses, such as uh, trucks and trailers. Uh, as mentioned earlier, there are two of these larger U-turns being proposed, one on each end of the corridor uh, to ensure access is maintained with the other proposed changes. Moving north, uh, the project proposes improving the safety of the median openings at Living Waters Church uh, and at 42nd Place. Uh, by making them bi-directional as well. Uh, these bi-directional openings include a left turn lanes off of uh, US 301, US 441, and physical islands that restrict left turn lanes on to uh, US 301 or US 441 uh, from these intersecting driveways and streets. And this dramatically reduces those, those conflict points we spoke to earlier. So the median opening at uh, 48th Street will be closed permanently to, uh, to accommodate a new turn lane uh, with the conversion of the median opening at Northwest 47th Street into a bi-directional uh, configuration. And continuing north, the project proposes closing existing openings adjacent to the businesses Pro-American and Young Gas uh, to accommodate new bi-directional access uh, and turn lanes adjacent to the business text trailer. Uh, for northbound traffic, this opening will serve as a location for U-turns for smaller vehicles. At Northwest 56th Street, uh, the median will also be converted to a bi-directional opening uh, and left turn lanes will be added for northbound and southbound motorists. Uh, here, southbound motorists with smaller vehicles may utilize the opening for U-turns as well. Further north, uh, the median uh, at Northwest 58th Lane will also be converted to a bi-directional opening. Uh, the median opening uh, adjacent to the southern side of Ocala Tractor will be closed to accommodate extended turn lanes uh, accessing Northwest 58th Lane 
uh, and Ocala tractor. Adjacent to ring power, uh, the left turn lane for northbound motorists will be extended to allow for more vehicles. Uh, and here the median will be modified to a single direction, ensuring the large trucks can access ring power. The median opening at uh, Northwest 63rd Street will also be converted to a bi-directional opening. And finally, uh, just north of Northwest uh, 65th Street, uh, the project proposes closing the existing median opening uh, to accommodate for left turn lanes for northbound vehicles. Uh, this is the proposed location for the second large vehicle U-turn uh, and includes extended, uh, the extended paved shoulder. Uh, this U-turn actually completes the access management changes on the US 301 US 441 corridor. Uh, resurfacing will continue north to the US 301 US 441 interchange, uh, and the roadway design will be largely unchanged on that portion of the corridor. Moving forward, the uh, design of this project is anticipated to be complete in spring of 2021. Construction is anticipated to begin in summer of 2021 at an estimated cost of 17.8 million. And the improvements will be constructed entirely within the right of way uh, and therefore will not require any property acquisition. The Department of Transportation values your opinion uh, and there are several ways that you can get involved and provide feedback on this project. Uh, you can provide a, a verbal comment whether you're attending in person or virtually. Uh, you may also submit a written comment by using a comment card go to webinar the project's web page uh, or by contacting the project manager directly uh, while comments are uh, accepted anytime uh, comments received by february 10th 2021 will be included in the public record for this hearing uh, and written responses will be provided uh, to comments received before the end of the public comment period for those attending in person uh, that wish to speak please complete a speaker request card and hand it to a staff member. Uh, you will be called on the microphone to provide your comment or question. For those attending online and wish to speak, please enter your request by typing in your name and the words, I wish to speak uh, in the question box. The presenter will call your name and unmute your microphone when it is your turn to speak. Uh, please remember to also unmute your microphone on your computer or mobile device to speak. Uh, for those calling in by telephone, uh, in listen-only mode, please contact FDOT project manager Megan Owens at 386-943-5140 uh, after the hearing to provide public comment. To provide a written comment, uh, you may submit a comment card found at the registration table for those attending uh, in person, or you may download and print one from the GoToWebinar handout menu uh, for those attending virtually. These can either be dropped in the comment box at the sign-in table, uh, or you may return it uh, by mail to the address on the comment card before the end of the public comment period on February 10th, 2021. Uh, to enter your comment through GoToWebinar using a desktop computer, uh, please type your question into the field Mark Questions uh, at the bottom of the uh, desktop control panel. Uh, from your mobile device, simply click on the question mark uh, and enter your comments at the bottom of the page that opens. You may also submit a comment on the project's webpage found at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 441136-1. Uh, the QR code on the screen will also direct you to this page. Uh, the comment button is located in the right column when viewing on desktop uh, or about halfway down the screen when viewing on a mobile device. Uh, the project manager, Megan Owens, can be reached by mail addressed to Megan Owens, District 5 uh, Consultant Project Manager, 719 South Woodland Boulevard, mail station 542, The Land, Florida, 32720. She may also be reached by email at megan.owens, and I'll spell that for you. It's M-E-G-A-N dot O-W. ENS at dot.state.fl.us. Uh, or you may call uh, Ms. Owens by phone. Uh, once again, that number is 386 943 5140. 
As we begin the public comment period, uh, we will call the names of the individuals who have filled out a speaker card or have indicated they wish to speak through GoToWebinar uh, in the order that we receive them. Uh, we'll start with those attending in person and then proceed to our virtual attendees. Uh, when it's your turn, please state your full name, your street address, uh, and then give your comment for the recording. Uh, any in-person attendees will need to come up to the microphone in the, uh, the front of the room to speak, uh, but please keep your comments to three minutes. I wanna thank you uh, once again for your time and attention this evening. I will now turn the uh, presentation back to Catalina Chacon uh, to begin the public comment period. Thank you, Eric. We will now call upon those that wish to speak. When you have been called, please approach the microphone at the front uh, of the room or unmute the microphone on your desktop, tablet, or mobile device. As a reminder, please state your name and address for the record. If you represent an organization, municipality, or public body, please provide that information as well. We ask that you limit your public input to three minutes. So right now I have two cards. Make sure that if you need another one, let, um, contact a staff member. So the first one um, to speak is Justine Tim. If you want to, or you could leave it on. Is this on? Is that on? Yes. Okay. Uh, my wife and I, Kathy, oh, I need to give you, my name is Tim name. Chestein. My address is 1111 Northwest 126th Street, Citra, 32113. My wife and I, Kathy, live in Silver Palm Estates, which is north of the project and just uh, south of the 329 interchange where 301 and 441 split. Our neighborhood has two main entrances uh, at 127th Street headed northbound and 124th Place headed northbound that traffic travels at a high rate of speed headed down towards the interchange and we either have to just about get off the road to get onto our roads to get into the neighborhood or turn in at a high rate of speed which is extremely unsafe. There's accidents there coming down that hill almost daily uh, DOT has added a couple of flashing lights to indicate the red light down the hill, um, but we feel that it would be much safer for everyone involved if they put turn lanes in so that we can safely get off the road and let people travel about their way towards Interstate 10. That's it. Thank you for your comment. Thank you. The next person I have is Jeff Miller. Thank you, Jeff Miller, Miller's Boating Center, located at 1661 Northwest 57th Street in Ocala. Um, I appreciate everyone doing this and taking the input. I'm very concerned for our vendors and customers. We have a boat dealership. There is a lot of traffic that comes into our facility and leaves on a daily basis pulling trailers. There is a large amount of traffic on both 57th Street and 58th Lane. We happen to have the block between both roads, but there's a lot of business traffic, semis and equipment that use both lane, uh, both of those two roads. And I'm very concerned about the northbound traffic getting entrance into our roads and the traffic that leads either of the two roads getting headed northbound. From looking at this, a couple points come to mind. I understand the point about conflict points and reducing those, but when you're talking about the conflict points, you're not taking into consideration the points that are happening at the U-turn. If I'm pulling a boat trailer and I come to a U-turn, I have to cross both lanes of traffic and then merge back into the right-hand lane, having at least three points at that one spot not even counting getting out on the road to turn and travel south, then transfer to the, to the left lane to get ready to make my left turn. 
So I want to make sure that those other points are taken into effect by myself and experience towing boats, U-turns are pretty tough. In looking at the diagrams, there are several U-turns that would be fitting for a small car or a standard vehicle. But the two turn lanes that were mentioned for tractor trailers or somebody pulling a trailer, boat trailer is considerable distance south of us and a considerable distance north of us. If you're gonna go through this project, I think we need to look at having some other turn lanes that are suitable for boat trailer traffic. Um, eliminating the medium in front of our dealership, I don't have a problem with. It's issue strictly for U-turns for our dealership and doesn't have an effect. My big deal is the U-turns. And if someone would like to discuss and show with me the diagram or try to sell me on the idea afterwards, I'll be glad to listen, but I'm concerned for the safety of our customers. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you for your comment. Okay, so those are all the comments I have for the in-person attendees. I will turn it back over to Eric for those attending virtually. Hey, Catalina. Uh, so we actually, uh, we've got a few uh, written uh, comments, but I don't have anybody at this time. Uh, we'll give it just a second. If anybody does wish to make a, a verbal public comment, if you could enter it into uh, the question, uh, question box there in the control panel. Uh, we will happily take your comment. Thanks to those that uh, entered your, your comment in writing. Let's give this just a minute just to make sure. go ahead and say we are good with that. So uh, that concludes the folks that have uh, registered to speak virtually and, uh, and I'll turn it back to you, Catalina. Thank you so much. All right, thank you, Eric. So uh, this recording, the recording of this hearing, all written material received as part of the hearing and all displays and informational material provided at the hearing will be made part of the project record. They will also be made available on the project webpage at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 441136-1. Thank you for attending this public hearing and for providing your input to this project. It is now 6.28 p.m. I hereby officially close the, this public hearing for the US 301 slash US 441 resurfacing project. Thank you again and have a good evening. To those attending virtually, uh, we will answer any questions in writing, um, and we do thank you. We'll leave the the, um, the, the go-to webinar platform open for just a, a few more minutes if you have any other questions. Uh, but thank you, as Catalina said, thank you for attending, and uh, we we appreciate your time. Have a great evening.